The Starling Fluid Management Monitoring System provides continuous, accurate, non-invasive, and personalized hemodynamic monitoring to support individualized fluid management. Proper fluid management is vital in many clinical scenarios. More than 80% of hospitalized patients receive IV fluids, but every patient has unique and constantly changing fluid management needs and studies show that administering too little or too much fluid can lead to serious complications and contribute to rising healthcare costs. The Starling system empowers you to quickly assess fluid responsiveness throughout the hospital so you can deliver the right therapy to your patient every time. Now let's take a look at how the Starling system works. Four non-invasive sensors are applied to the thorax, creating a box around the heart. A small electrical current is applied across the thorax between the outer pair of sensors, and a voltage signal is recorded between the inner pair of sensors. The flow of blood in the thorax introduces a time delay, or phase shift, in the signal. Extensive research has shown that these phase shifts are tightly correlated with stroke volume. By continuously measuring these phase shifts, accurate stroke volume is determined. To determine fluid responsiveness, a dynamic assessment is performed, which challenges the heart with a small amount of fluid to gauge its response. There are two ways to perform this fluid challenge, a fluid bolus or a passive leg raise. The passive leg raise translocates 250 to 350 cc's of blood from the lower extremities into the heart, providing a reversible challenge of the heart's response to increased fluid load. If the heart can receive more fluid, you will see outflow equivalent to the increase in stroke volume. If the stroke volume increases by more than 10%, the patient is determined to be fluid responsive. Note that even if the patient shows a change in stroke volume of 10% or more, it does not necessarily mean that the patient needs fluids. What it does mean is that their heart can tolerate an increase in preload. The Starling monitor also shows the patient's unique position on the Frank Starling curve. If the patient is on the ascending portion of the Starling curve, the patient is considered to be fluid responsive. If on the flat part of the curve, the patient is not fluid responsive. The Starling system helps you determine whether fluid will be effective. If you don't know, check. A growing body of scientific literature supports the effectiveness of the Starling system and its approach to fluid monitoring. Clinical data from both the Fresh and University of Kansas studies show that the Starling system is proven technology that supports positive clinical outcomes. The Starling system had better accuracy and precision than thermodilution when compared to indirect FIC. In an animal study, the Starling system algorithm was compared to an aortic flow probe. In over 516 distinct measurements, the Starling system performed favorably compared to the aortic flow probe with high accuracy and precision. The Starling system predicts fluid responsiveness based on a validation study using an algorithm and technology that show sensitivity of 94% and specificity of 100%. In a multi-center, randomized, prospective study with sepsis patients, the Starling system has demonstrated improved patient outcomes via dynamic assessment in terms of decreased fluid balance, reduced risk of mechanical ventilation, reduced initiation of renal replacement therapy, and improved likelihood of being discharged home alive, which may be associated with a reduction in cost of care. The Starling system comes with a patient cable that connects to the disposable sensors, as well as a non-invasive blood pressure module. Optional accessories include a carrying case for easy transportation by a rapid response team, a leg lift, and a roll stand. One more embodiment of Baxter's market-leading innovation in medication delivery, the Starling system enables you to take a fully non-invasive and precise approach to fluid management, individualized to help meet the clinical needs of each and every patient.